to Royalty Soaps. My name is Katie. I'm the Duchess of Suds here on this channel and today we're going to be making a blackberry pineapple soap and before we begin I just want to tell you guys today is Will's second birthday. <laughs> The gender reveal soap that I made for baby Will is one of the most watched videos on my channel. So just as an update, yes, he is now two years old, which absolutely blows my mind. So typically Lily is the one that films with me because she really enjoys it and Will just couldn't be bothered. If he ever wants to be filmed and do craft kits with mom on camera one day, then that's cool. But if he doesn't, I don't care. You can see some more pictures of him on Instagram because he actually does like taking pictures. He just doesn't want to be doing like one specific thing in front of a camera because I mean he's a two-year-old what what can we say <laughs> anyway it's all very emotional for me so we'll just go ahead and skip on right over that and into the soap making video where once again I'm joined by a very special guest and I really hope that you guys like the color palette that I chose for this it's a little bit unique and it definitely pushed me outside of my comfort zone it's just a little bit weird so enjoy the weirdness of the color palette and without further ado let's make some soap Okay guys, let us make the blackberry pineapple soap. I would also like to mention that this video is going live on Baby Will's second birthday. We're having a Taco Tuesday party for him. It is going to be so much fun. So the first thing I'm gonna do is pour my lye water solution into my oils. Everything is at room temperature, which for me right now, it's a little chillier than usual. It's right around 78 degrees Fahrenheit, which I know so many people comment and are like, that is so hot. It typically is in this room. It's just just a little bit warmer. That's what it is for me. That's where I like to soap a lot. Anywhere between 78 to 92. That's where I like to keep everything. That's a personal opinion. You don't have to do that. But with my recipe, that's what I find works the best. All right, so now I'm going to blend this up until just past emulsion. I have lots of accent colors that I'm using today, so I want it to be pretty watery. Yes, like a very thin pudding. It's all food related. <laughs> it all comes back to food. I have four accent colors, quite a few for this soap, and it's gonna be a drop swirl. It's gonna be so stunning. So I've gotta measure those out, and I want them to be all the same, like really, really, really close to exactly the same. 18 ounces, that is what we're doing today. Admittedly, I was shooting for 16 and overshot and didn't want to pour the rest back in, so now it's 18. All right, so let's talk about the colors. I have some really, really fun accent colors and I'm using green today. So y'all can just be proud of me using green. I'm gonna be using High Society. I do believe that this is a Nurture Soap colorant. Might be Mad Micah's, I don't know. I will leave you the proper link down below to whomever may carry it. And then we're going to add in a little bit of Tempest. This is a deep, dark, mysterious purple. This is also what could be described as a blackberry, which is why I thought it would be perfect for this soap. Now I am adding in a little bit of Harold's Purple Crayon. <laughs> which is one of the single best names for a mica I have ever heard of. It is a blue toned bright purple, not warm like great knee high. It's sort of a bluish color, which I thought would be nice again for the pineapple and to it, we're going to add a little bit of titanium dioxide. So that's going to mute it. So this can be our light purple and this can be our dark purple. And then finally to the last container here, we're just gonna add a nice white accent. And to the base container, we're adding a whole bunch of true yellow for the pineapple. I'm also gonna go ahead and add in my fragrance oil blend. Now today, the fragrance oil blend is a secret sauce custom blend by yours truly. It smells like blackberries and frozen pineapple and has a little tiny bit of a green note in there like a mint. And now we will blend it up from lightest to darkest. <laughs> This looks so nice and 
Don't forget, the yellow is looking super, super potent now, but it typically mellows out a little bit during the cure. So I'm kind of counting on that. If I decide that it's a little bit too dark in the future, it's not a big deal. I will just discount the yellow in future batches. So let us pour this into our two brambleberry molds after this quick commercial break. I shall begin by pouring a goodly bit of our yellow. We are gonna do a drop swirl today. It's been a while since I did one. I've really been favoring layers recently, but this one, this is just a drop swirl design. There's just no other way to do it. I'm gonna try for three passes. My batter is cooperating really well. I'm starting with the white because per usual, it's getting thicker than the other colors. Then I'm gonna go in with the green and then the dark purple which I'm putting down the middle and another side so that I can kind of get a different looking swirl there and then the light purple which I will also take down the middle and then on the opposite side so hopefully that keeps the purples a little bit separate from some of those other colors um, purple I'm sure would look really yucky if it over blended into yellow so we're gonna try to avoid that we're gonna take some more yellow down both sides here down the middle I'm gonna go ahead I think and just pour the rest of that in. Going to scrapey scrapey my big container. All right so now we'll go along with the second pass. Things are thickening up but we still have plenty of work time. This is still gonna make really nice drops in our soap. We're not worried at all. Also I have to say I feel slightly more confident in this color blend than I do with some of the other ones that look a little weirder because I mixed it up on a computer first to see if I would like it and it looked really good. I tried to use like a big blending tool where you can lay out all the colors in a row and I mix and match what order they went in. So I felt like no matter how I mixed it, it all looked pretty good. So that's why I feel like it's gonna be a little bit better this time. We've had some disasters in the past. Rest in peace, life's a peach. That was not one of my finest moments. Oh, so far, so good. Everything's in the mold now. I'm gonna give them a good tap and then I'm gonna mix up the soap frosting and we will come back and put the frosting on the top of these base loaves after this quick commercial break. Okay guys, so I have mixed up my soap frosting and I am using the Soap Frosting Club Kit to frost the top of the soap today. I sell this at RoyaltySoaps.com if you want to do soap frosting just like me. It comes with my secret recipe and it comes with everything you need to get started on your soap frosting journey. All of the piping tips, some of my favorite colors, a full video tutorial, and uh, if you want to see some of the soaps that other people have created, you can pop on over to Instagram. I have an entire highlight just for soap frosting club so there's that this is looking mighty luscious and I have a very fun thing for you today my bestest friend Caroline is here with me in the studio while I work tonight and she is going to read me some fun things off of reddit what would 12 year old you never believe about adult you wow that's a good question let me think about what I would have been thinking about at 12 probably <laughs> about how I wanted to be a ballerina <laughs> well I would never believe that I wouldn't have been a ballerina. My mother would have though. <laughs> And also, uh, I think they would be shocked because I had already made soap at that point because I had done melt and pour from a craft kit. So I was already familiar with it at the age of 12. And if I then found out, hey, by the way, that little craft you did and sold at that garage sale, that's your career. People who own multiple pets, so that's you. Yep, that's What me. is some drama going on between them right oh. now? <laughs> oh, I can tell you that. I have three kitty cats. I have Esther. Uh, Baloo and George and then I have two puppy dogs and their names are Copper and Dolly and so Copper and Dolly actually really like all of the cats but the cats do not like <laughs> Copper and Dolly, except Baloo. So Baloo, the tailless wonder, stumpy wonder, he sleeps with the dogs in their bed and his hair on his head always looks like a wreck because they chew on him. So they will put his whole head in their mouth and kind of chew and lick it. <laughs> he likes 
sit. So <laughs> that's really weird. So Baloo, being a lover of the dogs, gets offended on their behalf when the other cats don't like them. So our kitty George really hates the dogs. He just, he hisses at them, he growls at them, he runs away. And he's taken a couple of swipes at their little noses. And when he does that, if Baloo is around, he will go and fight George because he is so bothered that George is trying to take it out on his dog pals. <laughs> so right now, there's definitely bad blood between those two cats because George is clearly like, you traitor. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to be with us. So now I'm taking a little bit of true yellow. We're going to do a drizzle on the top. We're gonna bring the idea of pineapple right back here on top. And then we're gonna start putting embeds on. So I think I'm gonna put my blackberry embed on top. I thought maybe I'd put it on the side so that it was all balanced, but alas, I think I'm just gonna put a leaf on either side and <laughs> be done with it and move on. Time for some hollow glitter. This hollow glitter is is Into the Mystic by Mad Micahs. Also, you can get the exact same thing from Brambleberry. Uh, just depending on where you're ordering from next. I know that a lot of you guys are all over the country and so it's like the shipping is outrageous for certain companies so you just can't afford to buy from them. So those are the only two companies that I currently know of that have this biodegradable glitter size. Um, a lot of them carry a holographic eco-friendly glitter but most of them are like microfine and they just just don't spread as well on top of a soap. So those are the only two that I currently know of. And now we're going to put the blackberries on top. Look how good Shelly did. These actually look like real blackberries. Even if you are an adult, what is something that you are never truly too old for? Some <gasps> people said coloring, playing with Play-Doh, things like that. How about, I almost said drinking out of a sippy cup, but that that's not exactly what I wanted to say. <laughs> It's not a sippy cup. It's just like a cup that has a lid and a built-in straw. Um, so convenient, especially for the car. Let me see. There's got to be other ones. Come on, Caroline. You you tell me. I would say like splashing in a puddle with no shoes on. <gasps> That's such a nice feeling, especially if there's a slight bit of mud that gives a nice squish between your toes. Exactly. Do you have a comfort movie? Do you know what that means? Where it's, it's like, movie is it like when you're sad or something, you watch it? Yeah, or not even sad, just like a movie that you can always watch that you know will always make you feel good, no matter what kind of yes, you're in. Yes, 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 I do. Headless it's the live action 2013 Peter Pan, or is it 2003? Oh, the one that came out when we were little? Yeah, oh, yeah. that one makes me happy. I literally watched it like two weeks ago with Caleb just because I was in such a childish, delightful mood and I was like, let's let's watch Peter Pan. Yeah. I also like the Disney one too. So mm -hmm. like Peter Pan in general is just such a comfortable, lovely movie. How about you? Princess Bride. <gasps> yeah, oh, that's a great one. one. Perfect for any mood. Agreed. That Peter Pan one is the one with Jeremy Sumter in it, right? That is correct. Everyone's first crush. <laughs> It's true. I will think while I put on <laughs> well, a seamless transition. Yeah. These wonderful green leaves represent the mint in this part of the soap. So this one says, you're abducted by friendly aliens who kindly ask you to sing the song of your people. What <gasps> song do you sing for them? I bless the rains down in Africa. <laughs> Africa by Toto. Yeah, there's an excellent <laughs> cover of that song with Weezer and Weird Al. Really? You wouldn't believe it, but it's true. Oh, I'm intrigued. What are some green flags early on in dating that the relationship should become serious? Oh, that's a great one. I would say uh, tipping generously Ooh. at a restaurant. That's a good one. Would be a green sign. This is so specific. I don't know why I even feel this way. But if I found out that somebody that I was dating or interested in volunteered time and didn't tell me about it. So like oh. they weren't the ones that told me, but somehow I found out that they were volunteering at like nursing home or an animal shelter. I would think like, okay, that person is clearly in it to help people and not to get praise. Yeah. So I would say that would be good. That's not super specific to a relationship. Relationship, but that might be nice even for a friendship. Like, That's oh, a, a good sign that this person's gonna be a good person. Also, the ability to laugh at one another without being cruel. Making jokes perhaps gently about, you know, something silly about one another, but it's not said in such a way that would be harmful or hurtful 
and the other person thinks it's funny. Yes. So I think that that's a really, really positive thing to see in a relationship. I like seeing that a lot. I agree. What is something you loved as a kid but hate as an adult? <gasps> Someone said getting oh. mail. I like Oh, mail. yeah, I do too. I even like bills because they have my married name on them. <laughs> You're like, ooh, hey, Carson. Yeah, there she is. It's me. Well, believe it or not, we are going to have to answer that in the next one, Caroline, because this blackberry mint pineapple soap is complete. And I have actually done two different things. I put leaves up on this one and I put leaves flat on this side and I can't decide which one I like better because I'm not sure which one is, come give me your opinion, which one is more visually <laughs> pleasing. I kind of like it laying down. Right? So you, cause you can see the whole leaf. Yeah. I, I kind of do too. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to go with that in the future just because I feel like that gives us the lay of the land, but I'll bring these folks in for a close up so they can see. And if you liked the friendly banter in this section, well, stay tuned because it's going to be in a lot more videos. <laughs> Here we go up close, folksies, so you can see it with the uh, leaf sitting down, laying flat on its side, and then sticking straight up. We're gonna lay them flat in the future because that's what we think looks the bestest, and I will be back in 18 to 24 hours to split these loaves into bars and take a peek at the inside after this quick commercial break. Okay guys, let's cut our blackberry pineapple and mint bars. The first thing I'm gonna say right off the bat is that the colors, at least from the side, look really good. I'm still a little bit nervous, but I think, I think we may have nailed it on the first try. So I'm gonna go ahead and line this up right here with old Kermy, and then we're gonna press down. And this is what it looks like on the inside. So I'm super pleased. Let me tell you, that dark purple color that I cannot remember the name of off the top of my head looks so good. And I know in the camera it may just look like straight black, but it's not. It's definitely a deep, dark purple. I am thrilled to death. This turned out exactly the way I wanted. It looks exactly like the image that I drew up. I I'm just thrilled. So here's a little blackberry question for you since we're doing, you know, blackberries. Have you ever picked blackberries? And if so, have you ever picked thornless blackberries? This is so specific, but here's why I'm asking. Because I'm growing blackberries this year, I got a type of blackberry called a primacane thornless blackberry. The point is, is that it's a thornless blackberry, even though the berries are supposed to be really big and sweet. I've never picked a thornless blackberry before. I don't know, like, are they kind of known for being slightly more tart than other blackberries? I know this is like highly specific. Y'all may like have absolutely no idea, but who knows? Maybe some of y'all have a granny that grows blackberries out there. I'd like to know. I'd like to know. And also y'all can just tell me, Katie, you're a goose. Nobody knows anything about that. Look how nice they look all stacked up. That is gonna be a really fun product photo to take. Do you love it? I hope so. If you would like to get yourself a bar of this or any of the other bars that I have made on YouTube this month for the Tutti Fruity collection, well, you can on the Tutti Fruity launch day in May. It is listed right now on the screen. Uh, you can go over there and shop at 3 p.m. Central Standard Time, royaltysoaps.com. Also, just so you know, I do have a personal website and a blog that I am starting to write some more on. It's not very wordy because I have found that I personally really like using blogs as a tool rather than a reading source. So I've kept it kind of minimal on the words um, and kept it more content related. So if you're looking for something, uh, it's a lot of guides for stuff. So like, oh, Katie's doing gardening. Let me tell you all the things that I use for gardening. Oh, Katie just went and redid her bedroom. I know you want to know what that bedspread is. Here's a whole bunch of links to everything you want to know about. It's, it's stuff like that. It's mainly helpful. It's helpful content. Content. Also, I'm on TikTok, I'm on Instagram if you want to see me other places besides here on YouTube. And uh, yeah, be sure you do something fun for yourself today, like uh, eat a taco in Inspired by Will. That's what we're doing for his little family party. We're doing Taco Tuesday. Eat a taco for Will today. Or maybe if you don't like tacos, you can have a burrito. I don't really care what you do. Just be sure you do something fun for yourself. And I will see you guys in the next one. So until then, bye for now.